Hi everyone, this is James. I have a quick video for you. Now, please bear with me. I'm still under the weather, so I'm going to try to talk as clear as possible and keep this video short. Now, today I was looking at this illustration again that I've used in previous videos. And um, what stuck out to me today was in the Fibonacci golden spiral sequence, the F7, the F8. Now, you got the 13, 13 and 21 and over the cross here and in my matrix i there's made looks like reference to these numbers or, or at least the f7 f8 and with the cross so i it caused me to just look into it more and what i found was very interesting now if you if you watch some of my previous videos you might understand partially what i'm talking about if you haven't you probably won't have any idea what i'm talking about but please bear with me maybe it'll make more sense when i go over this these uh next slides so let me continue now if you take a look here i'm going to start here at the top here you got uh, kaderi prophecy now if you haven't watched my previous videos about this um, i'll just talk briefly about this now kaderi was a well-known rabbi okay and he had a, a very very huge following and i guess he had most of the Torah memorized is what they say. But anyway, he had a huge uh, following. It was, I think it was around uh, 200 or 300,000 people attended his funeral um, back in 2006. Now, before he died, he gave a uh, note, a sealed note, and it had a cross stick on it. Okay. And he said that to his followers, do not open it till a year after his anniversary of his death. So he died January uh, the 28th, 2006. So January uh, the 28th of 2007, they end up opening it. And to their surprise, the note had a cross stick saying, um, Joshua, I, I believe is what it was said. But it, well, it, what it meant was Yeshua or Jesus. Okay. So that was a big shock to them because, you know, obviously, um, you know, they did not believe in the Messiah at the time, but a lot of his followers actually ended up, or at least partly part of his followers, ended up accepting their Messiah as Jesus Christ or Yeshua. So, but anyway, this, uh, I, I believe, uh, this time frame now, you know, is we're very close to the rapture and the tribulation starting. And now this, this timeline I'm going to show you, uh, I, I don't know if I'm going to call it a timeline, but it's more of a creation week. And I, I'm wondering if it was modeled, you know, after creation week. So I'm not going to get into a, a big backstory. Now, there, there's a way that um, in the Torah calendar that I could go back and I could see they, they estimate what creation week was. And plus uh, other research and what I feel the Lord has um, revealed to me that uh, possibly this is this could be accurate, you know. Uh, you know, but it, some of this is probably conjecture, but it really fits very well. So it, I, I just want to show this to you. So you got the 17th anniversary of the of the Kaduri prophecy. Okay, or Kaduri um, is now being released publicly. So that's January the 28th of 2023. So that would be the 17th anniversary, and 17 means victory. Now. Genesis 1 1, because we're in the 11th month. So there, there's like Genesis 1 1, okay? And this is from what I've, my research, it looked like it matched. And sorry, I can't, I can't zoom in very well with this. I'm on my phone. But you got February the, uh, sorry, February the 9th and February the 10th. Okay, February 9th is actually Genesis 1 1. Okay, so then you got one, two, three, four, five, six. You got seven. Okay, and he rested. All right, and so then you got Genesis two, one, three. Now, if you go from there, okay, you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and that would be February the twenty-first. Okay. And in a moment, you're going to see why this is significant. So you've got, you know, it, let, let me just save it for the next slides. But yeah, Genesis 1-1, Genesis 2-1-3, through 3, 
if you, I, I highly recommend you look up those verses. And uh, I, I will actually uh, show you those in, in the, the slides in it in the head here in a bit. Just give me, but just give me a moment. Now, here's a cross, and you got Revelation. And when I did this, this E for whatever reason, it, well, it wasn't my intention to make like a golden spiral from it, but it kind of happened. And there's like a nine. It, you know, I, it was not my intent. You know. But anyway, Revelation, not, you know, it has a golden spiral and then, you know, Revelation. And then you got, I put in the four because I couldn't put it in there, but normally that's on the cross. You got the four, seven, then 26. Now four stands for creation. Seven is spiritual perfection. Okay, completion. And then 26 is God's number. So just remember that. Let me, let me continue. Oh, actually, before I before i continue sorry i'm having a hard time even talking right now with my my voice and my throat but the 28th means eternal life 29 means departure or resurrection so let me continue sorry i gotta okay now if you take a look i'm gonna read isaiah uh, 46 10 declaring the end from the beginning and from ancient times the things that are not yet done saying, my counsel shall stand and I will do all my pleasure. So, you know, is, is this possible that that God is, in, in this timeline, is he, is he telling us the end from the beginning? I think, it's, I think it is possible, and especially tying in with the Kadiri prophecy, and you'll see that near the end, but uh, just bear with me. So let me go down to... Um, Ezekiel 1, 16 through 17. Again, you're noticing these numbers, how, how they are kind of relating and connecting. The appearance of the wills of their work was like unto the color of beryl, and, and they four had one likeness in their appearance, and their work was, as it were, a wheel in the middle of a wheel. Now, when I hear that, and especially how they move, it sounds like... Um, how God created the universe with the golden God's fingerprint, which is all throughout creation in your fingerprint, um, in the break of a wave, um, in the galaxies, you'll see the spiral galaxies, you know, in, in, you know, fruit and trees and you name it, it's all over the place. Um, the eye of a hurricane, you'll see God's fingerprint. So, uh, in a, you know, the conch shell, like I can go on and on. Okay. But, um, if you take a look at Google, look up the Fibonacci golden spiral or sequence, and it'll come up. But it's actually God's fingerprint. You know, God want, really wanted me to say it's his fingerprint. He allowed um, this fellow to discover it. And they, okay. So anyway, that's what it sounds like to me. You know, that's conjecture possibly, yes. But barrel, now if you look up barrel, there is different types of emeralds. And that comet that we're seeing that's sticking around, the media says, oh, it's going to fly out, but it still hasn't. Um, the green emerald, okay, or barrel. It's a it's a barrel, okay. So that's, that's very interesting connection right there, possibly. Um, not possibly. I really believe that that is, you know, not a coincidence that that comet has a green, you know, tail or the look of green, the, the comet. When it's flying through our solar system so let me continue when, when they went they went upon their four sides and they turned not when they uh, when they went you know and if you understand how that operates uh, behind the, the the golden spiral sequence you know the mathematics behind it but i'm not, I'm not going to get into that right now so anyway, Ezekiel 10, 9, 11. Again, these numbers, if you watch my previous videos, these keep coming up. And it's in my matrix. And let me read this one. And when I looked, behold, the four wheels by the cherubims, one wheel by one cherub, and the, another wheel by another cherub, and the appearance of the wheels was as the color of a barrel stone. Okay, so another reference. And as for their appearance, the four had one likeness, as if the wheel had been in the midst of a will, okay? And they went, they went upon their four sides, they turned not as they went, but 
to the place uh, whether they had looked they followed it they turned not or or not as they went so um the biggest thing really is all these things are connecting with, with you know how this is coming together you got a comet in the sky this it, ha it happens to be in taurus and it's almost facing off okay <coughs> ready for his, you know, something's going to happen, like the rapture happened possibly, and the tribulation, Jacob's trouble starting. And, um, you know, it, it's just incredible. All these things are coming together. But this is what I want to show you. This is just kind of uh, building up here. Now, this is this is actually the letter. This uh, I got a, a screenshot from it. And this is the acrostic that said, Our Messiah, okay, Jesus Christ, Yeshua on it and here's the Genesis 1 1 I want to read that to you in the beginning God created the heaven and the earth okay and there's 17 okay I just put it there and then you got Genesis 2 1 3 and look at how the alignment here and let me read it for you thus the heavens and the earth were finished and all the hosts of them and on the seventh day God ended his work which he had made and he rested on the seventh day and from all his work which he had made and god blessed the seventh day and sanctified it because that in it he had uh, rested from all his work which god created and made so so there you go you have it going all the way you know lining like from that creation week that i found in different research Coming right to, it happens to line up perfectly with the 29th and the Torah calendar, 28th. And it's the 20, 21st. You know, it, it looks like, you know, the the rest. So just the day before the rest day. So all the work would be done. So could it mean that um, the rapture could happen and tribulation starts just after God's rest day or, you know, that, you know, God's kind of come and work with the with the Jewish nation again in tribul uh, in the tribulation, Jacob's trouble. It absolutely makes sense. Absolutely possible. So I I just wanted to show you that uh, you know how close we could be. You know this, you know this seems to really connect, and um, you know why. You know, in terms of. All these anniversaries happen tied to that Kaduri prophecy also coming to a head now. You know, I, I, it's really pointing, I, I think, to the possible rapture of the church and the tribulation starting. So now I also want to show you this too, which is, uh, I think, m more evidence, more solid evidence to add, is if you take it Revelation 22.20, um, he which testifies these things saith, surely I come quickly. Amen. Even so, come Lord Jesus. Now, Revelation twenty two twenty one. This is the very last verse in our Bible. The King James Version of the Bible. Um, and let me read it for you. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. And look at it again. twenty two twenty one. Well, we're looking at right here. Okay, you're looking at 20, 21, 22. And again, the alignment couldn't be any better with, with the numbers. Uh, 28 means eternal life. 29 means resurrection or departure. Okay, and again, it's lining up with this possible creation week scenario. So, you know, I just, you know, I just think that's amazing now. Would, you know, it. To me, it would only make sense that God would, you know, possibly could end the date coinciding with the very last verse of the Bible. You know, God has that ability, that power. He can do it, sovereign power to do something like that and to prove that, you know, he declared the end from the beginning, you know. So, and, and not only that, he's tying in, he's tying in several calendars. Um, he's tying in biblical scripture. Okay, no, you know, our number systems, math, sciences, physics. Um, you know, it proves that he's out of our time dimension. You know, he's not affected by 
gravity or time. He's outside our time dimension, but yet he can come in and work inside our time dimension. Okay. That's, that's amazing. And that's why he can predict the future or not predict the future, but he knows the future. Okay. Um, you know, he knows the future before it happens. Um, so I, I just thought that was incredible. And let me show you something else that is really, really cool too. Now, this is with the Kaduri um, prophecy, the anniversary, again, the 17th year anniversary, January 28, 2023. Okay, now it happened, you know, in the fifth in the Torah calendar, 11th month. Now, five means grace. 11, okay, again, um, that means chaos, but again, it lines up with this creation week. Um, and then if you take a look, what is the meaning it, it today is in the past is called bow, which means go. Okay. Which is very interesting. You know, it could, you know, could this mean like a mirrored image to the end of this month? Like, uh, <laughs> you know, go rapture is going to happen tied with Kaduri's uh, death um, and also would have been 16, uh, sorry, yeah, it'd be six, uh, 16 years for um, for the actual note and then 17 is death. Sorry, I had, it, I had it backwards. So is that possible? Absolutely. And 16 means love, 17 means victory. So let me continue. And also I just want to mention... Um, this is just a snippet. You know, it fell in the previous month in the Torah calendar, month 10. You got Eros Sharon, January 11th, and the Ark of the Covenant from um, the 6th, January 6th. Okay, that, that would be their anniversaries. And I think the for the Ark of the Covenant, I think it was 41 years. All right, and Eros Sharon um, also is... I think it was like four, around 14 or so, but I had to look that up. But anyway, let, let me continue. Here, here's, uh, here's what I thought what was also extremely interesting. Now, if you take a look from January 6, 2023 to now, so that's what, from the Ark of the Covenant, the anniversary of the Ark of the Covenant being discovered to the 21st. So again, like the end date of Revelation, uh, or the final verse of Revelation, and what this timeline seems to um, end on, okay, that is exactly 46 days. And then you've got one month, 15 days. Now that almost lines up with, well, it does line up with um, Isaiah 46.10, you know, possibly. But look, it is exactly six weeks and four days. Again, you know, lining up. And one month, 15 days. And 15 means rest, okay? One could mean stand for god okay and then if you take a look at one day further out so it'd be the 20 uh february the 22nd you'll get 47 days of course 47 can either um you know could sorry hold on one second you got right here if you take this illustration you got the 47 the 26 so that's in that illustration that i've used multiple time and i made this months months ago so so that's something I just put together now to try to line these up. No, this is just something I have to come together because I believe the Lord is inspired. You know, all this, I, I know he's inspired, you know, the bulk of this. If anything is correct, it's, it's the power of the Holy Spirit. If everything's wrong, it's because of my imperfection being a you know, human being. But anyway, a lot of the stuff you'll see in watching previous videos I've used for a, a long, long time. So it's not made up or try to, you know, make these things fit and make like a puzzle. I'm not trying to make it up and make something and impress my audience. You know, I do it for the glory of God only. I'm not, I'm not worried about winning over. You know, I just want to present what I feel the Lord has given me and that's it. So, <clears throat> so let me continue. So you got 47. All right. Now, if you, if you go read it from right to left, that's 74. Now 74 in Jamatra means Jesus and also it can mean cross. So I thought that was really interesting that you're seeing that line up very good. And, and, you know, God controls the timings of these events, the death and lives of those people. Okay. 
So he can do anything like that. And he that's what he's done. And if you take a look at from Ariel Sharon, and again, that one of the things that Kaduri said in his prophecy that the Messiah will not come till after the death of Ariel Sharon. But it, it wasn't clear, like, okay, it's going to be one year or, or 20 years. But it happens to be January 11, 2023's anniversary to February 21st, 2023. Again, the day, same day we're talking about 41 days. Now, if you look up Revelation 4 1, that's a very interesting verse. Okay, I invite you to look it up and you'll see why. Now that is one month and 10 days. Again, 10 means, uh, 10 can't, it usually is um, contributed to Gentile number or it could be possibly completion, okay? So that is interesting. And if you take a look, now one day further out, so February 22nd, you're looking at 42 days. And 42 is not a good number because that means Antichrist. And, of course, the Antichrist is going to come on the scene after the rapture happens and Jacob's trouble or tribulation is in effect. And 11 means chaos. And then you got one. One can mean God. Um, so I, that is very interesting numbers. And I can see why if, if God selected these numbers and these events to, to uh, co- you know, align up or, you know, connect, you know, it just totally makes sense. So let, let me continue. Oh. Okay, now, th- okay, this is really interesting too. Now, if you take a look at the Kaduri uh, anniversary of, of his death and also the note, okay, either 16 or 17 years, depending on which date you pick, you're looking at January 20, 2023 anniversary to February the 21st. That's 24 days. Now, if you look at Revelation 4.4, 4, again, you're going to see 24. you got 24 elders. Another you know, possible connection. And that's right after the rapture happens. It, it looks like the verbiage in these verses that I'm giving you, Revelation 4.1 and also 4.4, 4, Revelation 4.4. 4. Um, but anyway, you know, that's, that's conjecture. Um, you know, the... The 24, I really believe, has significance. That's all I'm going to say. But um, you got the 24. But look at this. You got three weeks and three days. Well, 33, that means promise. Now, I know that there's uh, the Illuminati or the Freemasons usurp that number. But 33, you know, that you know, all numbers, is God, you know, God created the numbers. Um, but 33 means promise, okay? And that's a promise. You, if you're born again, you believe the gospel then you go to heaven and you're taking away, you're not going to be in this trial and tribulation. That's a promise, okay? So that is interesting. And 24 means priesthood. Now those elders that it talks about in Revelation 4.4, 4, you know, they're probably, um, you know, they have crowns. They're, they're probably going to be priests or kings in the millennium, you know, or, you know, or some of them, you know. So that's a possibility. Now if you take, again, from that day, Kaduri's uh, anniversary of his death or letter being released to one day further, the 22nd of February, 25 days. 25 means forgiveness of sins. Okay? And also, it's got, I circled 600 hours. I thought it was interesting because um, in the 600th year of Noah's life. Now, it's so possible maybe God just had in a micro scale, you had 600, you know, hours, you know, it could represent, I don't know. But then he got three weeks and four days. You know, three weeks could three can mean Trinity, four means creation possibly. And then he got 685 percent of 2023. I just circled that, but anyway, um, let me continue. Now this is actually I just added this just for um you know, I just felt the Lord wanted me to include this too because how it lines up. January 31st, 2023. This is uh, actually my dad's birthday. And he fell in all that time zones or that time, um, you know, with all these events happening. So I I include it to February 21st. That's 21 days. Again, that's like lining up with the day, like, like February the 21st. And that's three weeks. Okay. And then one day further is 22 days. And that's 33 weeks in one day. Now that's, that can mean 31. Now. I feel the Lord wants me to say one more time, and I know a lot. I get a lot of flag people, 
you know, they don't believe, but, you know, the Lord revealed to me when he gave me this divine download, this information, you know, you can think I'm making it up or not. I don't care. I really don't care. It's, that's for your discretion. But the Lord said, I was, I am a descendant of King David. Okay. King James, Queen Esther, the King of Persia. And he also said that I'm a distant relative to President Jimmy Carter. Actually, my mom's maiden name is Carter. And I'm also a distant relative to Donald Trump. So I'm bloodline, okay? And that's one of the reasons why the Lord gave me this information. Um, the oracles of God were given to the Jews, okay? And salvation comes to the Jews. So it makes sense they would give it to me, you know, I'm just like, you know, anybody else, I'm, I'm just an instrument of God. I'm a humble servant, you know. I'm, I'm just telling you that because I feel the Lord wants me to tell you that. But, you know, since that came up, you know, include, you know, my dad, of course, would be, you know, like the bloodline came from, from you know, uh, from King David to down and then to him and then through me, and of course. So let me let me continue. Now, this is something I created uh, quite a while ago. Well, I mean, not that long, about six, seven months ago, I think. And it did not have, it did not include the the two, the one and the two, which I thought was interesting. Now, if you haven't watched my previous videos, you're going to have no idea what I'm talking about here. But I'm modeling uh, God's fingerprint or the Fibonacci golden spiral um, to create this clock. And one of the things, the key features, 11 is very prominent. The nine's really small, so that stuck out to me. But nine eleven's all throughout my mate. Well, in a few spots, my matrix, and it's kind of um, connected different things. But anyway, the one and two was missing, and I always thought that was interesting. And the one was very prominent, and then three is really small. Again, that drew attention. So anyway, you've got um, basically one and two. So that could be like um, twelve or twenty one or you got also have 13 or 31. So that's why I think it's very interesting that the end date that we're looking at is exactly that. And um, that's exactly, you know, for long, you know, a long time, I just, uh, you know, that's interesting. I kept it back in my mind. And now, you know, I feel the Lord, you know, it's in his timing. You know, he's, you know, take a look at that again. And I just think that we're, you know, very close, like, we're looking at February the 21st, you know, and all these numbers are lining up, now, do I know what, what's going to happen, I have no idea, I, I, I can't say if the rapture is going to happen, like, really soon, and the tribulation start, I, I, I really believe so, but I don't know, I cannot say for sure, you don't need, you do not know the day are, but you'll know the season, but if if you are not looking, you're going to be overtaken like a thief in the, in the night. And, you know, I'm paraphrasing, but, you know, people like to, to say the first part, but they don't want to read. Of course, they're just going and finding what they feel it, it agrees with them or agrees with, um, you know, their, you know, I hate to say it, but their world, worldly beliefs. Um, a, lot, a lot of the time, anyway. You know, they don't go and look through the scriptures and, and do thorough Bible study. But anyway, um, so I just think everything's lining up. I think it's amazing. And I feel the Lord wanted me to give this verse again, this Revelation 1, 2, 3. And again, it lines up with the uh, God's fingerprint with the 1, 2, 3. If you go in uh, Gematria again, the calculator, if you put in Fibonacci, it's 1, 2, 3. Uh, but it's, again, it's God's fingerprint. But let me read this for you. And there appeared another wonder in heaven, and behold, a great red dragon having seven heads and ten horns and seven crowns upon his heads. Now, you know, I don't know if, I, I feel the Lord wants me to include this, so I don't know if this is going to happen or it has just happened in, in the heavens, but I just, I'm just going to read that to you. Um, and here I felt the Lord wanted me to include John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. So please trust in Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior in his finished work. And um, if you're watching this video after the rapture, please turn to the two witnesses that will come on the scenes shortly after. I don't know 
when, but probably shortly after. And if you look up Revelation 11, 3, that'll, that'll tell you about that, okay? And uh, open your Bibles, read Revelation, Daniel, the Gospels, of, Gospels Epistles of Paul. Uh, you know, and, and uh, there'd be a lot of deception to it. So turn to the two witnesses and your Bible. And I recommend the King James Version of the Bible. And I'm, I'm a descendant of King James. So, but that's what the Lord, he, he wanted me to recommend. So again, you know, if, if um, anyway, I'm, I'm not going to get into that. But I, I just want to thank everybody that has followed my channel and give me support. And uh, I uh, hope to see you in the clouds. Thank you very much. Please like and share if you feel led. And uh, I love you all. God bless you.